They're the ones that called you. I don't talk to cops. So why don't you go talk to them? Why don't you go talk to them? Well, I'm talking to you right now, seeing why you have a problem. Are you detaining me? Did I say you were Are you detaining me? Well, then bye. What up, YouTube? It's your girl, News Now Lisa, out here in the mean streets of Miami, Oklahoma, at Riverview Park on August 22nd, 2000, I mean, August 24th, 2022. <laughs> I apologize. You know that people love the waste of police time. You know, people love the waste of police time. And, hey! Here they come. Here they come. All right, you're probably like, what the heck is going on? Well, first of all, do me a favor hit that thumbs up, and I'll continue with the story. Giving time to hit thumbs up. Okay, so here I am at the park walking my dog, minding my business. Minding my business. Granted, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed that day, and I was having a bad day. I hadn't got my bed moved to Miami yet, so I slept on the floor. So I was pretty crabby, okay? Well, apparently, this cop that comes to the scene already knows me. Let's watch and find out. Now the couple called the cops on me because why? Well, ne we might not never know. I'm not proud of my behavior that day. I did say a lot of slurs. Keep in mind, this was my first encounter with the Miami PD, really, with the uh, uh, actual call where it was on me or whatever. I'm not yelling at nobody. I'm over here walking. I asked her what she was looking at. And her and her man started ganging up on me with their dog and whatever. Started ganging up on me. Said they're calling the cops. Dog. Yeah, they got a dog right there on the property. Right there. Turn around and look. Turn around and look. Them and their kid and their dog. And they're, they're yelling at me. No, the dog wasn't yelling at me. Why are you covering over your badge number? Why are you covering over? What's your badge number? What's your badge number? Oh, where's your badge number at? The 1993 Badge ID Act is a federal law that requires law enforcement officers to wear and display their badges and other identifying information when they are engaging in official duties. The law was enacted in response to concerns that some law enforcement officers were not properly identifying themselves when engaging in law enforcement activities, which could lead to confusion, mistrust, and violations of individuals' rights. You know the dog wasn't yelling at me. Why are you covering over your badge number? Why are you covering over? What's your badge number? What's your badge number? Oh, where's your badge number at? Hey, your warrant taken care of? What warrant? We're in Arkansas. I don't have it. Yeah. No, I don't. You want to take me? You want to take me over there? Arkansas. Yeah. I mean, if I could. Let's go. Well, then don't worry about it. I'm sad. Then don't worry about it. If it's not, if if I haven't got it taken care of and you know you can't take me over there, then don't worry about it. I'm all. Here's another violation. He looked me up illegally. Did I give him my ID? Did I give him my name? No. Have I ever fucking gave this guy ever my ID or my name? No. Have I ever given any Miami PD officer my name or anything like that at, at, up until this point? No. Violations of the 1993 Badge ID Act can result in disciplinary action, including suspension or termination of employment, as well as fines and criminal charges. The law has helped to ensure that law enforcement officers properly identify themselves when engaging in official duties, which can promote public trust and cooperation with law enforcement, as well as protect individuals' constitutional rights. Several officers of the Miami PD have refused to identify. Mullins does identify here, but he does state he only has to identify once. He's adding extra parts to the to the rules. We're walk my dog. So what's your name? What's your name and badge number? Yeah, so what's the problem? I'm over here walking my dog. They got their dog on the on the I base. said over here walk my dog. So, so what's, what's your the name? problem? What's your name and badge number? 
Yeah, so what's the problem? I'm over here walking my dog. They got their dog on the on the baseball field. They're yelling back at Jason 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 Bissell, 512 at the Miami Police Department is Mullins' boss. I mean, yeah, I'm yelling at them. I'm minding my business. She kept staring at me. Yelling at them, minding your business? Excuse me? Is yelling at them, minding your own business? I was minding my business. You were yelling at them, which isn't minding your business? Why don't you go talk to them? They're the ones that called you. Yeah, I don't talk to cops. So why don't you go talk to them? To them? After they said that, them? look, this one turns the other way. I don't talk to cops. Are you kidding me? Did I say you were Are you saying? Well, then bye. See you later. Bye. See ya. Bye. And you're going to take me to Arkansas? You want to go to Arkansas? I'm ready. Whenever you want to drive me. Whenever you want to drive me, let's go. Whenever you want to drive me, let's go, baby. Have a good day. I always do. I always do. Thanks for the content. And what was that badge number again? I already told you once. Oh, not telling me again. You're refusing to identify. He's refusing to identify. Good job. You're not supposed to have your dog on the on the baseball field. Thanks for your permission. If I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay and record. Right, and I'm and if I'm free to stay, if I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. Good way to waste taxpayers' money. Let's call the cops. So this guy thinks he's somebody. Like, like I haven't been knowing about my warrant in Arkansas. And I'm not worried about it. I don't want to ask you shit. I didn't call you. They called you. Yeah, but you like you're talking about me on, on your phone, so I figured you might want to ask. I'm talking to my audience. Yeah, I figured you might want to ask. They want to know why you're so ugly. Oh, well, I think I got a beautiful face. Well, you thought wrong. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, you could have been you. You could always leave. Yeah, I could, but I'm not. This is America. So these people call the cops because why? It's none of your business. It's none of my business. <laughs> you know. Do you hear that? They, they called the cops on me, but it's none of my business. Do you hear this you guy? You, you must be a new guy, huh? Yeah. See how he's covering over his name and his badge number and my stuff? Right here. I See how he's covering that over, guys? That's what cops do. I already told you my badge well, if law enforcement officers fails to identify themselves in violation of the 1993 Badge ID Act, it can have serious consequences for individuals and the administration of justice. Individuals may be hesitant to comply with an officer's request or feel intimidated, particularly if they are unsure whether the person is actually a law enforcement officer. This can lead to misunderstandings, tension, and potentially even violence. Moreover, if law enforcement officers... No. ...does not properly identify themselves, it can be difficult to hold them accountable for any misconduct or violations. It can be difficult to hold them accountable for any misconduct or violations of individuals' rights that may occur. In order to address situations where law enforcement officers fail to identify themselves in violation of the 1993 Badge ID Act, individuals can file a complaint with the officer's department, pursue a civil lawsuit, or contact a civil rights organization for assistance. Law enforcement agencies should also have clear policies, training, and accountability measures in place to ensure... Are you, are you, are you listening to this? To ensure... that their officers comply with the legal requirements to identify themselves and explain their authority and purpose for any law enforcement activity they are engaging in. Oh, tell us one more time because everybody didn't hear you. That. Covering over his name and his badge number and my stuff. Right here. I See how he's covering that over, guys? That's what cops do. My name. I already told you my badge. Well, tell his badge number and my stuff. Name. Right here. I See how he's covering that over, guys? That's what cops do. My name. I already told you my badge. Well, tell us one more time because everybody didn't hear you. That. Not everybody heard you. Some people are just tuning in. Well, that's not. I'm not I don't have to uh, give them my badge number. I have to give you because you asked. Because I asked. Ask. And I asked you again, and now you don't want to answer. Cause... I already gave you it once. I do not have to give you it again. So why are you here? According to department policy, I have to identify myself when asked. 
Exactly. Multiple times. Remember that. Multiple times. Remember that. I when asked. That. So I'm asking you again, what's your name and badge number? I identified number? myself to you. I didn't oh. have to identify again. He doesn't have to identify again, you guys. Our 90s, okay. You were going to take me to Arkansas to take care of that? I never said anything. Oh, well, they, uh, what are you talking like about then? Well, did you want to drive me to Arkansas? As you can see, guys, it's a no-win situation here, arguing with him. I'm very disappointed in myself and the way I handled myself that day, but we learned from our mistakes. This is, like I said, our first encounter, and from here, it only escalates. Stay tuned for more of these videos where Mullins will be the star. Badge number 220 with the Miami Police Department. Bradley Mullins, 220. Miami, Oklahoma Police Department. Looked me up illegally. I did not identify. He somehow knew I had a warrant. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about my video. Have a good day.